Greetings, Earthlings. I have always wanted to try the best deli in Los Angeles. I get it, I know, the best delis are in New York. But you know what, I don't believe that. I believe every area has a special spot for everything. And if we're talking about delis, the place that everyone is talking about is Brent's Deli. Apparently they have a really good pastrami sandwich, a Reuben sandwich, and I guess their pickles are amazing. So I had to drive 20 minutes to get here. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to check this off my list for like two months now. So let's try the quote unquote best deli in Los Angeles. It's been cloudy in LA for like three weeks. What the f is going on? I don't know if I should appreciate it or be concerned. So here we are, Brent's Delicacy. What does that say? Delicacies and restaurant. It kind of looks like a hole in the wall. You would miss the logo. Oh, that's cool. That's unique. I like that. Like whatever that is. Here we go. Been hearing so much talk about this place. I'm so excited. I didn't expect this to be like a full diner. I thought it was kind of like a grab and go. Hello. Do you recommend the uh, Reuben or the pastrami? Pastrami Reuben? Is there a pastrami Reuben? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've heard so many things. I've been trying to go for a couple months here. I really like this classic look. Like, I hate modern art. I hate modernness. It's so weird. Like, bring back character and things, for God's sake. One girl began a cheesecake machine. <gasps> Blueberry! Okay, I'm getting the blueberry pie. Could I also get a blueberry cheesecake thingy, whatever? It's a cheesecake? Yeah, Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get that. I'm a dirty little spark for dessert, so let's just get that out of the way. Damn, this should be a good place for a morning date. I gotta go here, bang. Comment down below if you have no bay. All right, I'm gonna wait for my food, and then let's try it out. Thank you. Okay, we secured the bag, literally. Oh my God, I am so excited. Thank you, Brents. <laughs> Yes! I love delis because it's made fresh right there. They're a beautiful thing. They usually have a lot of desserts, a lot of meaty things, a lot of sandwiches, and we got all of that, baby. Oh my God, there's no way, no way I'm gonna finish this. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. That's the pastrami huh? right there, whoa. So this is the pastrami Reuben, comes with mustard, ketchup, and apparently, they have really, really good pickles, so I'm gonna start with these. Mmm, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, mmm. I'd say that it's like halfway to cucumber. As you guys know, I don't know if everyone knows this, a pickle is a pickled cucumber. It's a cucumber, then it gets pickled. This tastes like it's halfway there. It tastes like it's half a cucumber and half a pickle versus full level pickle. So if pickles make you go, ah! then you'll really like these pickles because they're not that strong in sourness. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I like a pickly pickle. I like a very pickly pickle. So I'm gonna have to give that a three out of five on the pickle scale. That's just me personally. So along with the Reuben sandwich, it also comes with French fries. Oh yeah. <sighs> Oh! And lastly, lastly, I had to spoil myself. I got a blueberry cheesecake. Wait, let's see, let's see. Orgasmic. Wow, I'm gonna get to that. That's made in house too, baby. Real blueberries on that shit. It looks fire. Let's start with the pastrami ribbon. Oh my God. It looks like a pink sock. That's when your butt was like inside out and it's like hanging out your ass, but like in a good way. Holy shit. This is the best deli sandwich I've ever had. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not lying. I had one in New York. New York's known to have the best. This makes the New York deli sandwich that I had look like a big piece of turd. This compared to the New York sandwich I had makes it look like diarrhea. This is the best deli sandwich I've ever had in my life. It's so good. There's no like fatty pieces on it, you know? You know when you're eating like chicken or you get like a fatty piece and it's like, yeah! Like this is like perfect bites all the way through. Literally, your mouth just sinks into the sandwich. And when you pull away, it just gracefully pulls. And the taste is just orgasmic. Mmm. Do you hear that? Toasted to perfection. Listen to this. Listen to the bread. Brent's Deli, baby. Brent's Deli. I can't wait to go back. This is a memorable experience. This is like the definition of food is happiness. Best deli sandwich I've ever had. That is an instant Five out of five, absolutely incredible. Let's get on to the fries. I'm hoping that the French fries are just as good as the sandwich. No one ever talks about the French fries, so let's pray. Looks like they're like thick French fries, like the ones that look like big thumbs. I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look like anything special, but I think that's how deli French fries are. Mm. 
Oh, no! Oh! I spilled my Bruh. sandwich everywhere. It's okay, it's okay. All right, not much flavor going on with the french fry, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say that's how deli french fries are. It's not like Dave's Hot Chicken where they just blast it with weird seasoning. Okay, mm-hmm, I'm gonna do a line. That's really good, but you know what? I've had so many fries in my life that this just doesn't even take top 20. I definitely don't think they're known for their fries. I'm gonna have to give their fries a two out of five. No shade, no shade. I didn't even see this. They have potato salad, I think. Oh wait, oh, that's coleslaw. Not a fan of coleslaw. I'm gonna be completely honest. Oh, it's spilling on me. Oh! I just think that coleslaw is like one of those things that should have never been invented. Okay, here we go, the coleslaw. You know what? It's not half bad. It's not half bad. I just don't like coleslaw though, but I'm not a picky person. I'll eat it. I'll definitely eat it. It's definitely edible, but I would never go out of my way for coleslaw. I'm gonna have to rate this on a coleslaw scale because if it was a normal scale, I'd say one out of five. That's not fair because I don't like it. Coleslaw scale, uh, uh, three out of five. <laughs> Let's get on to the big kicker. Oh! Oh, the blueberry cheesecake. I am about to burst just looking at it. Look at that beautiful jizz of a blueberry on the top. And the cheesecake part, oh my God, it's flawless. There's just nothing wrong with it. In the back, do you hear that? I am such a for food. It smells like a vape, but in a good way, you know? I don't know, did you guys used to have those big vapes where you went Whenever you got a good flavor, it was the best feeling. This smells like you just got the best flavor ever. Wow, vapes really ruined my sense of smell. Okay, going from the top, ready? Oh, that's a big bite. Oh, that's a big bite. Look at that, look at that. Wow, wow. I'm gonna have to go for one more. I'm gonna have to get this cream. It's only fair. It's like a fluffy cloud. Holy shit. Oh my God, that's a five out of five. I'm going in for one more. God damn it, I don't give a you know what? I'm gonna get a little bit of the back, a little bit of the back. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, it's like a cookie. The back is like a graham cracker cookie. What a beautiful experience. I don't know like what makes a cheesecake the perfect cheesecake, but I think it's this. Blueberry is such a good flavor. Like when I was a little kid, I thought it was like a grandma flavor, but I grew up, blueberry is delicious. I'm going back to the sandwich. Why is the ketchup packet in there? Oh my God, I almost died. Holy shit. I almost just gave myself a free tongue piercing. I've done a lot of thank you lately. I've been all over the United States. And you know, sometimes I would drive an hour to try something that's supposedly really, really good. But I realized what's special is finding the gems in your area. There's like five other delis that were like in downtown LA, which is like an hour from me. And this place was like 15 minutes. And you know what? I'm gonna say this is my personal favorite. I'm not even traveling anymore, like, for a place. Like, if something's, like, an hour away, it wouldn't be special to me. Like, why would I want to go on a road trip to eat somewhere like I eat somewhere that's special to the area that I live? Oh, my God, that made me so happy. That's how you know the food's good, when it literally gives you dopamine, when it literally makes you happy. That shit made me happy i loved everything everything the only thing that i didn't really care for is the pickles the cold slaw and the fries the reuben pastrami sandwich and the blueberry cheesecake absolutely like mind-blowing i'm gonna have to say the entire place as a whole i'm gonna have to say a four out of five the fries just weren't that enjoyable but i mean i know de delis don't season up their fries like that it's just true but i mean i would be lying if i said every single thing was a five out of five perfect so four out of five but i could tell you that is the best pastrami reuben sandwich i've ever had in my my life and the cheesecake is the best cheesecake i've ever had in my life absolutely amazing if you're ever in the la area check out brent steli so so fucking good love you guys so much check out my merch it is selling out very very fast no name official.com it's really cool check it out look look wow and stream my music love you guys so much bye